Hi, I'm Scott Chaffer, and I'm going to demonstrate today very quickly a bowl shape. What I've done already is I've thrown the clay down onto the wheel, I've centered it, and I've put what they call a well in it, and now I'm just going to demonstrate how to throw a quick little bowl. And Joyce Bartell here is going to be my assistant, and here we go. Yeah, so I'll, <laughs> I'll be your assistant. You'll be my assistant with the mini with the minnow flip. So right That's now it. I'm just widening the well out to the shape that I'm going to eventually throw this bowl. And as you can tell, the you can make clay to do anything pretty much you want to do. It's one of the nice things about doing pottery is that it can. Do pretty much whatever you want to do to a point, and then past that point, the clay pretty well tells you what it's going to do. So you want to keep the clay kind of dry, not too much water. Oh, well, what does well, that mean exactly? Just well, um, you don't want to get the clay too wet because then the clay then becomes saturated with the water itself, and then it's going to want to not be able to throw the shape that you're looking for without collapsing. So you're compressing the clay in the bottom, you're getting it ready for the shape. And then you kind of do a first pull and you can get the shape of the bowl kind of, and you want to compress the rim. And then I take what is known as a rib. Uh, it can be a metal rib or a rubber rib, but I is to take a rib and then that way I can shape the inside of the bowl while I'm throwing the outside. And you can start to push the clay out. And you can get it thin. And in the part two of the video that you'll see some of my finished work and you'll be able to get a sense of other firings that I do. A little more information. You get a basic, sorry about that. You get a basic bowl shape. And then you can take this into anything you want. As far as a, you can take the rim and you can fold it in on itself a little bit more. Very nice. You can expand it out a little bit more, but at some point the clay will just say I've had enough fun and then it won't go any farther. It'll start to collapse or it'll get too thin. How do you know that point? <laughs> it, it tells you. <laughs> it's when it's too light. It'll tell you when it's too when it's done. And then I just We'll take a, a chamois to smooth out the, Pretty amazing. the rim. That's all I can say. And there you go. And how do you prevent all those ripples on the outside for the beginners that start? <laughs> I've done a little beginner pottery, and I remember it's hard to get those exterior ripples well, off. And well, sometimes smooth. you may want those. Well, that's uh, true. As far I as didn't, the, though, at the time. <laughs> you may want the... the you know, so you can get it smooth, or you mm -hmm. can get, you know, you can actually put uh, throwing marks through mm -hmm. the way you end up throwing. As you can see, the top part's getting a little thin, and it's going to be a little yeah. wobbly. Don't want to. Don't want to overthrow it. But this gives Very you just nice. a basic bowl shape, and I hope you enjoyed Beautiful. this video. Thank you, Scott. Thank you.